Cane Corso versus Rottweiler. Sometimes bigger is better. Small dogs are cute and adorable. For some, they're the perfect pet. But some people just can't help but be amazed at looking at a large dog that is jam-packed with muscle, power, and energy. If you're looking to get a dog that is leaning on the big side, you can't go wrong in picking either a Cane Corso or a Rottweiler. They're very similar to each other. Bad guys will think twice about messing with you if they see you taking either of them out for a walk. The question is, which one should you get and what makes them so special? Hi, welcome to Smart Dog Lover. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content. Let's first talk about the cool history of the two animals. The Rottweiler can be traced all the way back to the Roman Empire. The Romans built one of the largest ancient empires. At its peak, it stretched all the way from Great Britain to Egypt. Such a large empire needed strong soldiers to expand and keep their territory safe. When you have tough soldiers that are constantly moving and are on the go, you're going to need to get a dog that can keep up and look just as tough. The Romans adopted the ancient Asian Mastiff as they were large and well-disciplined. They became known as the Roman Drover Dog. Eventually, the large empire fell and the Germans started occupying a lot of their land. The Roman Drover Dog would eventually become the foundation of the new German breeds that will be coming out. They eventually stopped having to follow the soldiers and took on simpler jobs. They became famous in a small town called Rottweil. It became popular for moving herds and protecting their masters. Eventually, the dog was called after the town that it got popular in, giving it the name Rottweiler. Like the Rottweiler, the Cane Corso has a proud history of service with the Roman Empire. They're part of a subcategory of a working dog called mollusers. Mollusers come from the word mollusi, an ancient Greek tribe that had giant, big-boned guardian dogs. The Romans brought them home and they mixed with the local Italian dog breeds of that time. These original Corsi would be called dogs of conquest, and you would have seen them in the battlefield running headfirst into enemy lines. It was a dark time and no way should dogs be made to fight. But still, this old job made the Corsi strong and famous. People eventually started using them for herding, boar hunting, and most famously, guarding houses. Constant wars and political conflict in Italy nearly caused the breed to die out. It was only until the 1970s when a small band of Italians wanted to bring back the old dog for everyone else to see. It was a success, and by 1988, they were coming to the United States. Now let's talk about their size and other physical features. The Rottweiler can weigh up to a staggering 130 pounds and can grow as tall as 27 inches. Don't expect to be picking it up anytime soon unless you're packing some serious muscle strength. Speaking of muscles, the Rottweiler is famous for its strong and tough body. Its legs are immensely powerful given all the muscle strength it has. Like the Rottweiler, the Cane Corso is huge. They can get up to 100 pounds and grow as tall as 27 inches. Its large, intimidating body has it looking like a big bodyguard. Just by looking at it, most people will know not to mess with a Cane Corso. Now, their coats are also similar. Rottweilers have a short, double-layered coat that's short and coarse. Having a Rottweiler rub on your leg might not be the soft brush of fur that you are expecting. It also has an undercoat around its neck and thighs. How much will depend on the climate where they live. You only need to brush your Rottweiler once a week while you can give it a bath whenever you feel like it needs it. Cane Corsos also have a short double layered coat. The main difference is that it isn't rough and quite pleasant to brush with your hand. Its outer layer is flattened out on its skin, giving it a nice sleek silhouette. So far, both dogs seem very similar and you can pick either way. In terms of personality, the Rottweiler has attracted some unwarranted attention. Some people see them as scary and mean dogs, but that can't be any more wrong. Rottweilers are loving, loyal, and calm. Their bad reputation comes from the owners that don't know how to properly raise them. They're not the big scary bully that people make them out to be. In fact, they're really needy and would try to cuddle with their owner to get attention. They're also one of the smartest dogs in the world, making them easy to train. Strangers should be a bit wary. Rottweilers are natural guard dogs and are cautious around those they don't know. Proper socialization and training are important so that these muscle-bound giants don't just lunge at anyone they see. The Cane Corso, on the other hand, is like the Rottweiler if you cranked up the guard dog level. 
They're loving animals and known to be very steadfast and loyal. You'll most likely see them patrolling around the house, trying to mind its own business. While they're independent, they are always appreciate their owner playing with them or taking them out for a walk. Bred to be a guard dog, they're also very territorial and possessive. Without proper training, these dogs can easily become antisocial and aggressive, perhaps even more than the Rottweiler. But don't worry, these guys are smart and it won't take long to train them to be loving and social pets. Both dogs have some health problems that owners should be wary of. The most common one between both of them is hip dysplasia. This is when the head of the femur doesn't completely fit into the sockets of the hip. It can vary from mild to severe. In most severe cases, the dog will start to hurt and would need surgery to fix their hips. In any case, the dogs run the risk of arthritis. Both dogs need exercise to keep their strong and muscular bodies. The Cane Corso might not need as much as the Rottweiler as it likes to walk around the house making rounds in its patrol. Either way, it's good to take them out on a one mile walk or run. To summarize, these two dogs are quite similar and would make a great companion for anyone looking for a loyal and steadfast guard dog. They have lots of energy and can keep up with the most active lifestyles. The Rottweiler is more of a lovable homebody, while the King Corso is comfortable being by itself more. If you adopt any of these two dogs, make sure to train them properly and make some time for exercise to keep them healthy. Thanks again for watching us here at Smart Dog Lover. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more dog-related content.